Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to set up our new Spring Boot project. We have discussed about the details of the project in the last video. So let's begin to set up our project. Okay. So to create a project, we are here at start.spring.io. So here we will choose Maven language as Java, the latest stable version of Spring Boot 3.2.1 and the group name so let's name it as move com dot movie something like that okay you can give any name what you want and it will have movie api name i will put movie api in the description you can write anything about the project so spring boot project for building restful movie api and uh, rest everything is good just select java 21 the latest lts version of java okay now coming to dependencies so we will need a lombok then we will need web and we, we will need jpa then mysql and uh, for and one more library validation okay so these are the five dependencies that we initially require so as our project will move forward and we if we require any other dependencies we will uh, put them into our pom.xml file okay so yeah everything is perfect so let's generate our project so i have generated the project in the in my project directory idea projects in which uh, our java course and graphql apis were there so let's unzip it first so extract and once we are done with extract let's open our IntelliJ idea community and click on open here is our movie api okay so, so this uh, black tick is on this folder so select this folder don't select the out outermost movie api folder so we have selected this folder and we are opening it in our IntelliJ idea community project ID. So it is taking some time to set up and index all the files and dependencies. So let's wait for some time. So now our project is set up here, right? Now, if you go in the here, this is our main application from which starting point for our project, right? And in the resources, we will configure our uh, database and uh, our JPA. Okay. So first let's refactor it and rename to from properties to yml file okay and then open it so we will define certain properties so first is spring dot data source dot spring dot data source dot username so it's root uh, okay then we have password one two three four this is the root uh, username and password for my mysql db on local system you can have your own whatever you have configured just give the password and your username then you have to give url so it will be jdbc mysql slash local local host 3306 my mysql is running on 3306 port okay and we have to give the database name so i would give movies just movies okay so first we need to create a database here so we don't have any movies uh, here is a movie db which we have had created in our GraphQL series, but we'll create a new one. So create a new schema and uh, movies, apply and apply and finish. Okay. So our new database movies is now ready for here. Okay. So now let's configure our uh, JPA. Okay. So this is the configuration for our JPA. 
right so just uh, pause the video and you can just copy it in your application.yml file now we will create the entities and we will check if our project is working fine so first package we will create is dot entities okay here the first entity we are going to create is of movie so we will annotate it with entity and if you want you can name the table also if you oh, whatever you want it to be but i will keep it as default then we will have private integer movie id it will have then private string title then private string movies uh, director name then private string studio name okay then private set of uh, type string which will have movie cast the list of all the actors and actresses will be here then we will have a private integer release here and finally we will have a poster so it poster will be basically we will be having a image movie image okay so we will see how we will be saving our image but in our database we will be saving the name of the image okay and mark this as id also let's keep it as a generated value a strategy equal to identity okay so this much we have done now we need to do some validations so there are two types of validations one is database level validations so database level validations are those validations that whenever you are whenever the data is going to the database the database checks that all the condition all the, all the constraints are fulfilled okay no constraint is violated so that constraints we are going to put and second before sending the data to the database we will validate the data at the application level okay on the back end so both constraints we need to put so first we can use column in which it will be nullable is equal to false so the this column cannot be false okay also there is additional parameter like length so you can make it uh, of a particular size so suppose uh, you want to make it uh, 200 by default it is 255 okay but you can change it to whatever length you wish to then for application level since we have we have a not we have a not blank now this not blank is coming because of if you see in the pom.xml this spring boot starter validation because of this this not blank annotation is coming up and here you can pass a message custom message in case the validation fails so blank means either it should not be null or it should not be just uh, empty okay so both cases are covered here so you can say please provide movies title okay something like this and this will be applicable for all of the columns so we can just uh, copy paste this maybe length we can re remove this not much required for length and just change this one change it to studio so for this field this is not a simply a field it is a collection of the strings okay so we are taking a set of string so what uh, will be done at the database level is that a new table will be created with the foreign key as movie id okay so we have to define it as element collection also there is a column or there is an annotation called collection table 
okay and we can name this table on our own so i want to name this table as movie cast then we have we can proceed ahead with this all now the reason why we have taken uh, the re reference type not the primitive type for integers is that so that we can easily provide the validations okay so that is one reason if you take a reference type you can easily provide the validations so these are the all the validations that we have applied now we need getter setter and constructors so for that we have lombok so we will go with no args constructor all args constructor add getter okay so that much is fine for for now it is fine if we need setters or two string or anything we will get those right so this much it is done now next step is to create a new repository package so repositories and we will create a movie repository and it will be of type interface so we will extend jpa repository and we will put movie and primary key of the type integer so our repository is also done so now since we have created our projects set up the configuration in the yml files and we have created our entities and repository so i hope now we are ready to check if everything is working fine so let's run this project okay so let's run enable it okay just a minute it's saying module sdk so let me i have a jdk 21 let let it detect so i have set up my project to level jdk 21 okay so let all the things be done first so just ensure that all these uh, the jdk version is matching if in the pom.xml since we have taken jdk 21 so in your local in your pc or laptop jdk 21 should be installed and it should be on path okay so let's run this again so as you can see our tables are created without any uh any mistakes so all is working good so let's verify in the database so coming to database let's refresh it so refresh all we have got tables if you come here and say select rows so you can see we have got all the uh, columns and here you can see there is one more table movie cast which i told you that since we are taking it as a set of uh, strings or set of values so it will create a new column so let's see what it has so it is taking a movie id as a foreign key and movie cast here will be uh, individual values will be matched to each foreign key okay so this much is done so that's all for this video and uh, we have successfully set up our project and we have set up our entity database now we are ready to move towards the next steps so and then from the next video we are going to proceed with the next steps which will be to create the services so we will see how do we do that so that's all for this video i'll see you in the next one till then bye bye